A comparison of the first and second stage of the meiotic division. We'll look at the similarities and the differences between the different phases. It would be important prior to watching this video to have gone through the entire process in the correct sequence. And then this video will just enhance your understanding of the process. So we'll start off with prophase. Comparing prophase one with prophase two, the similarities are that in both of them, we have the centrosome splitting and moving to the opposite poles. And in that, the spindle fibers are being formed. The nuclear membrane and the nucleolus start to disappear. The differences between prophase one and prophase two are that in prophase one, we have homologous pairing of the chromosomes, whereas in prophase two, there is no homologous pairing. Also in prophase one, the process of crossing over occurs, whereas in prophase two, no crossing over occurs. And if we look, we'll notice that in prophase one, you have the diploid number of chromosomes, whereas in prophase two, it has the haploid number of chromosomes. When we compare metaphase one with metaphase two, we know M for metaphase is also M for middle. So the chromosomes are arranged or aligned at the equator of the cell. Spindle fibers are attached to the centromeres of the chromosomes. And we have the process of random arrangement also occurring in both metaphase one and metaphase two. The differences between these two phases, both have the chromosomes at the equator, but in metaphase one, they'll be in homologous pairs, whereas in metaphase two, we find that they are arranged singly. We also notice that in metaphase one, you have the diploid number of chromosomes, whereas metaphase two has the haploid number of chromosomes. When we look at anaphase, A for anaphase, A for away, the chromosomes are being pulled away from the equator. And that's because the spindle fiber contracts in both anaphase one and anaphase two. And that pulls the chromosomes apart to the poles. We also find that the process of cytokinesis commences in anaphase. The differences between anaphase one and anaphase two in NFAs1, we notice that replicated chromosomes are moving to the poles, whereas in NFAs2, we have unreplicated chromosomes moving to the pole. So if you see the chromosomes here, they are made up of two chromatids that are joined by the centromere, whereas here it is single threaded, unreplicated chromosomes that are moving. The similarities between telophase 1 and telophase 2. In both of these processes, we have the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus reappearing. But the differences, we notice that in telophase one, you'd have two cells being formed, whereas at the end of telophase two, we'll have four cells that have formed. In telophase one, the chromosomes are replicated, whereas in telophase two, you have unreplicated chromosomes. We find both telophase one and telophase two are haploid, but the nature of the chromosomes are different, one being replicated and in telophase two being unreplicated. So you please like this video. And if you have a question, you can post it in the comment section and kindly subscribe also. Uh, we find that this video should also assist you to identify the stages correctly.